the um the Hungarian Grand Prix here at the Hungarian Ring. Running through the grid, Lewis Hamilton, last week's race winner, reigning world champion, will start on pole ahead of Kimi Raikkonen in P2, getting his um getting his equaling best start of the season ahead of his teammate Sebastian Vettel. He disappointed with the pace that he had in practice, winning both practice one, practice two, and practice three. And he was disappointed with the pace in P3. P4 is current well as is the current championship leader, Valtteri Bottas. He is looking to um, hopefully get somewhere today. Uh, um, after his, um, according to him, his um, bad starting position, and of um, the best starting position we have ever got in P5 ahead of Daniel Ricciardo with a um, disappointing Red Bull P6 and P7 in um, uh, um, down in P6 and P7. Very disappointing for Red Bull. Then we have the two Force Indians in P8 and P9. They are looking very um, challenging at the moment. Sergio Perez ahead of Ocon, ahead of Hulkenberg, ahead of um, Carlos Sainz and ahead of Alonso, Kvyat, Magnussen, Grosjean, uh, Palmer, Van Dorn, our teammate Lance Stroll and then the two Saubers. We could just be beginning necessarily the last Grand Prix at the team. It's lights out and away we go, which isn't an amazing start actually. We're going to have to start defending against the two Red Bulls um, they've brought a nice start. Hamilton leads ahead of the two Ferraris. We're going to see if we can go round the outside on Bottas. We're defending against Verstappen. We're going to see if we can get him, though, no, and we are, in fact, going to get him. And I've still got that cough. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, we are currently doing well at the moment. Our teammate getting a bad start. We are going to see if we can challenge um, Valtteri Bottas now. And it's not looking like we can, unfortunately. So, um, we're going to do the classic skip quite a lot of the lap. But you can see, through um, here, we lose all the grip. And we're going to have to now defend from Verstappen. He's got a nice start. Apparently, there is front wing damage for Verstappen and in fact there was front wing damage from Verstappen you could see on his nose um, what happened is we just ran out of road we came on we give him all the space that he needs he steers into me or well, steers away you could see he steers away from me but he could steer quite a fair amount more away we're going to keep it round the outside though. We're going to still be battling with the, um, the Dutchman though, into the corner. We're going to remain in that position, but, or are we? We've just lost the place to Max Verstappen. We're going to go swooping round the outside. It's going to be a very good move if we can hold it. And we do hold it. And it is a very, 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 very good um, first lap at the moment trying to warm up our tires trying to see if we can get up to the leaders so the top five remain the same um ricardo's had a bad start going grouping two places and pretty much everything else is just pretty much the same now apart from our teammate lance Stroll, right at the back i am a bit surprised about that <coughs> not really happy actually in fact it's one of the that is one of the reasons why I am looking for a new team a new team to drive in to get a better teammates and you know I think it's understandable that we need a new t that we should get a new teammates you know 
Vicodin battling for the um, lead of the Grand Prix. This is uh, what I believe is lap three of the Hungarian Grand Prix. Hamilton is going to have to start defending soon because DRS is now enabled and Raikkonen is well within DRS range and it's looking like he can in fact pass the um it's looking like he's actually going to pass Lewis Hamilton for the race lead as you can see now his rear wing will open up and going down the straight this is Raikkonen he's going to pull up to the outside line he's going to have the outside line and it looks like Raikkonen's just gone and done the impossible, overtaking um, last week's race winner, Lewis Hamilton, the driver who has won the British Grand Prix last weekend, bringing a smile to the British fans, has completely failed them today. Not amazing, not good, exactly. This is Vettel having issues. He had, um, he didn't finish in the points last weekend. I wonder if it's going to be another retirement for the Ferrari driver, for the German. And in fact, DRS is enabled. And Bottas is going to probably pass him, I would assume. He had the straight line speed, which is faster than the Ferrari. How, mu how much is he going to have to defend um, later in the lap. I don't really know. He does look up. It doesn't affect him at all though. You can see now we are right on his tail. We're gonna get a bit forced wide though. And now we're not exactly on his tail. You know that? Oh! That's Valtteri Bottas! Bottas! Having an issue. And it just let go. Valtteri Bottas is out of the Hungarian Grand Prix. He was in podium places. And all of a sudden, we are battling for the podium here at hung Hungary. It's coming into the pit window. We can probably jump Vettel if we can't pass him. But, you, you know, we, we're getting a bit feisty here. We're getting the, um, got the DRS open, as you can clearly see. <coughs> and we can't find the way past. But it's coming soon, trust me. We got a good chance to pass um, the German through there. We're into the podium places. And, and already we're almost a whole second ahead. In fact, we are a whole second ahead. And that is very, very good news for us. We haven't even finished in the points um, for the last. Um, for the last two weekends but most of the drivers are coming into the pit lane um, Pulsish to Lewis Hamilton including us and Vettel Raikkonen the race leader at the moment is staying out so it'll be interesting to see what he can do we're going to go and overtake Fernando Alonso um, he was never really ahead of us. We're going to see if we can find a way past Danny Kavir. That would be a start. But you can see, we, we just can't. I'm just going to do this in... Um, I'm just going to do a time lapse of this. Because it's frustrating. Because... We, we have the pace we just can't do we just can't pass we had a we could have we could have had a go if it wasn't for Korea and us being in this traffic but obviously it didn't we are gonna probably get in we force him wide and it's an overtake that we will um, we won't regret why couldn't it comes out in p1 Ahead of Carlos Sainz, he has pitted, and of um, Hamilton, and us in P3, really. Vettel is all the way down here. So 
so that's um, we're doing well at the moment. And oh, we're gonna, are we gonna lose it? We're still in there, but that was very close. We, we're struggling for traction now and in fact we hit the barrier and now we've we, we've lost out a bit now we're gonna have to do it all over again Kvyat now he uh, uh, he's staying out so we have to do it all over again now or quite necessarily we could just stay out we could just stay um, behind who cares? Actually, we are going to uh, stay behind. We're going to have to do an amazing switch back there. I just wanted to say, look how close the wings were. You don't even know that he's there. And then, like, I didn't know that he was there. This is the driving angle that I was on. I kind of knew that he was there. But, there's quick reflexes. Gotta admit, next couple of um, <coughs> and oh, there's there's a mistake from us there, a very crucial one. We just lost the podium place. It doesn't look. It looks like it isn't me, but you could see we clipped the grass, and it's hard to realise that I actually that actually I didn't mean to do that. But I didn't, and now we, now we've lost out, and now we've lost out to the podium places. Federal obviously does not have a mechanical failure. <laughs> Hamilton is way behind Raikkonen. Vettel's even far further behind, and they're going to have to defend from the two Force Indians. They're looking very nice at the moment. Obviously, Stroll right at the back because he has to <coughs> you're gonna skip quite a fair amount because there's some surprise that I wanted to show you at right at the end something big something crucial we really need to get if we are gonna move teams I would like to um, change teams on a high so yeah, this this is big. This is a big race for me. We could necessarily lose. No, um, we could necessarily have a bad, a very bad race, and um, then switch teams. But I want to um, have a good race, and um, have a good race. see we, we're losing quite a bit of traction and even with traction control slightly on we just don't have the pace do we and we're sliding on the road everywhere and this is just really bad we're gonna have to start defending this is Perez right on right on us here we are gonna really have to start defending if we've got a chance um to um get p4 we're gonna lose quite a bit of um that's not good for us we've lost time for that little mistake just so, i just wanted to say that was very 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 well held Just, we just have no traction off the exit of these corners and on the curves we just and this is just massive humongous for us and in and coming through the final 
um, corner. We're going to have to now defend even more. More than we ever have before. And now we've left the door open on the inside. We're going to keep the position ahead of Sergio Perez, which is really a miracle. And this is this is looking good for us. And no, that's Perez. Disaster. This is the final lap. For heaven's sake, Perez. The biggest rival that we could possibly have in this race is has retired. That means we are going to limp home. Kimi Raikkonen will come home to win the Hungarian Grand Prix ahead of Lewis Hamilton, ahead of Vettel, but we are gonna limp home almost, clipping the grass, um, oh, losing control of our car every single corner. As you can see, we held it well there. But nevertheless, we're gonna come home but a very, very, very nice P4. It's a return back to form for Williams. Return back to form for us. Ocon getting, I believe, the best of the season. It's it's very, very, very good for us. Has a, had an amazing race. Grosjean might actually be driver of the day for me. Red Bull have had a horrible race. And you know, let's, let's go to the standings. We've managed to re-pass Daniel Ricciardo. And Gryken has now overtaken um, Hamilton. Vettel's lost two places in the championship. Now, the top, would you believe it? The top four are now separated by only four points in the whole championship it's just it's just crazy we are all the way down in 90 with 90 points <sighs> you know sometimes i think we could have done a lot better because Stroll is horrible at Formula One. But, you know, I, I remind myself, I do my best. That's all that matters in my career mode on my channel. Hello Claire, hello, hello lads. Hello oranges and apples. I'm willing to do that. Actually, you might call me crazy, but I'm willing to take a penalty for the Belgium Grand Prix. I'm good at that circuit anyway. 
I'm probably gonna be, and it's a good circuit for overtakes as well. If I've got any, if I've learnt anything. So no contracts actually to be happening at the moment. If we continue our form, we're gonna um, get um, get our, invite ourselves to some really good teams like Red Bull Racing, maybe, or Renault Sports or Toro Rosso. Don't want to go to Toro Rosso, even though they want me the most. I'm willing to go to either Renault or Red Bull or any other team. That any other team that isn't McLaren has Sauber to or Toro Rosso or Force India. Any of those teams that I do not want to go to. Any other teams I am will well willing to go to. Well willing to go to. Very much willing. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe to my channel if you like the video, then like the video and I'll see you guys next time, keep notifications on, I always just say that, goodbye.